वेलकम टू वीक टू लेक्चर थ्री प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग थ्री ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ लेक्चर थ्री इज टू रिकॉल फंडामेंटल ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स द सेकेंड ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू नो स्टिम्यूलेशन रिकवरी एडेप्टेशन थेरी एंड द थर्ड ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू नो फिटनेस फटिक पैराडीम दीज आर द टू प्रिंसिपल्स विच विल हेल्प यू टू एडवांस योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द ओवरऑल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग the outcome of lecture 3 is to describe the stimulation recovery and adaptation theory and to describe fitness and fatigue paradigm let's start by recollecting what are the principles of training in the previous three lecture two lectures we have covered the acute training variables the cas principle and principle of overload now these are the principles which can be applied to any fitness regime be it an health specific fitness or sport specific fitness but the remaining two fitness principles would be specifically applied for the sports training let's begin with understanding what athletic performance means with respect to athlete the only parameter that is important is their performance and there are three pillars of performance the first is the physical capacity which can be reflected by their fitness level the second is the psychological capacity which can be reflected by the preparedness which is the mental capacity or their readiness to perform best in a given event the third is their sport skills or game strategies now these are the three pillars that will influence an overall athletic performance now why we need to know this concept that's because when it comes to principle of stimulation recovery adaptation theory what exactly has been reflected here is the preparedness and the performance because you are not talking about the athlete's performance this wave is similar to the gas principle so whenever you start a training session there will be decline in the performance and here this decline in the performance is reflected by fatigue in compared to the gas principle where this decline was only limited to fitness levels but when it comes to athletes training we introduce the term fatigue what follows the fatigue is similar to the gas principle that is a recovery phase in this phase just like in the uh, gas principle of resistance phase this phase covers the adaptation that you have your body undergoes after following a fitness training session or a sports training session after recovery just like to the gas principle you get a super compensation phase now what exactly has been described in stimulation recovery adaptation theory is the stimulation is directly proportional to the fatigue what it means is greater the stimulation of the training session or a sports training session greater would be the fatigue greater the fatigue greater would be the time required for recovery and adaptation so you need to give a much amount of rest if your stimulation is very high and similarly if the stimulation is less there will be less fatigue and thereby it will be it will take less time for the body to recover and add, and to get to the new level of super compensation now let's go with fitness fatigue paradigm now whenever you start a training stimulation the fitness level drops this is the generic response which has been used from the gas principle at the same time there is a decrease there is an increase in the fatigue as you move ahead in the training session this fatigue level drops and a level of preparedness improves as your fatigue level drops and a fitness level is maintained to an optimal level now this area where the preparedness is high fitness level is optimum and fatigue is minimum is called as residual effect now why is this important with respect to athlete's performance 
this performance is very short lived so it makes sense that whatever increase in the physical fitness level or preparedness or game strategies have been achieved through the training sessions that increase in performance has to be used during the competition phase or during the events but unfortunately this increase in performance is very short lasting so the ultimate goal is to increase this residual effect this residual effect is also called as phase potentiation effect now one of the way to increase this residual effect that is to delay the decline of the residual effect is by planning a sequential by designing a sequential planning which is also called as block planning and this is where the sports prioritization would be introduced in the next lecture now sequential planning helps to delay the residual effect that is it helps to maintain a high preparedness with optimal fitness level and minimal fatigue and this is the what helps an athlete to maintain and give the best performance during the competition phase so in summary the concept of preparedness and performance is introduced in stimulation recovery and adaptation theory here we also introduce the concept of stimulation is directly proportional to the recovery that is greater the stimulation of the training session more the time it will take for recovery and which demands more rest period residual effect is an after effect of fitness fatigue paradigm which includes a phase of optimal preparedness and fitness with minimal fatigue and this concept is where which is introduced in fitness and fatigue paradigm in order to achieve a longer period of increase in preparedness with optimal fitness level and minimum fatigue level you need to implement what is called as sequential planning thank you